Yo, what is up? This is Danny with Plug and Play, and I'm here to talk to you guys about how you can make actual data mosh glitch text inside of After Effects. Now, these are super cool glitches because they're actual video glitches. We're using data mosh to go in and actually break the video compression and break those video files so that what is rendered out is actually video glitches. Let's get into it. All right, now we're inside of After Effects. Let's talk a little bit about how this is all going to work. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to apply some artificial glitching to this text and then we're going to run that through data mosh, break that video clip, and then use that broken clip to get to our final result. So in order to artificially glitch this text, we're going to use an effect called fractal noise. So let's make a new shape layer and then let's go to our effects and look up fractal noise. There it is right there. And we're going to set this fractal type to be dynamic, the noise type to be block, and then we're going to go inside of this transform tab, undo uniform scaling, and then scale up that width to be super high. Something like that. Maybe scale down the height a little bit too. And we're going to hit, um, while holding option, hit this stopwatch for evolution. And we're going to write a little expression in here. Uh, that is going to automatically cycle through this evolution based on what the time is. So that expression is time and then asterisk and then we're going to set it to be a thousand. So now without having any keyframes this animation is going to happen because it's tied to what the time is in the timeline. We're going to pre-comp this shape layer and let's call it noise. You can then hide that shape layer, and we're going to go to this text, and we're going to apply an effect called a displacement map. Displacement map, throw you on there, and instead of that displacement map layer being itself, we're going to set it to be noise. All right. So now you're kind of seeing exactly how this artificial glitching is happening. We're applying this displacement map that is reading from this fractal noise comp and is then applying the movements from that fractal noise onto this text here. Let's go to the beginning of a timeline and we're going to set some keyframes on the max horizontal displacement and the max vertical displacement. Let's set these to be zero to begin with and then let's say about let's go two seconds or let's do uh, a second and a half Let's set those to be the max horizontal displacement. Let's set that to be like 30. And then max vertical displacement, let's set that to be 5. All right. So now that glitch is happening, we're going to set the um, en end of our timeline at around 3.5 seconds. And now we're going to go into data mosh. And this is where the magic is really going to happen. We're going to run this this. Uh, artificial glitching through data mosh and it's going to break that clip get all these crazy pixels going on and crazy colors and then we're gonna work from that clip and get to our final result so let's set the interval to be something like 12 and let's set the duration to be 10 so these are gonna be very back-to-back -back moshes that are happening uh, make sure force re-render is checked and let's hit data mosh alright so once that's rendered out this should be something like your result So as you can see, there's a bunch of crazy different colors going on in here and a bunch of weird pixel movement. And that's because once we broke this file with data mosh, the pixels don't really, they don't know where to go from their previous pixel movement and they don't know what exactly colors to be. So it turns into this just glitchy mess that we can really work with. So if we time reverse this by hitting um, Option, Command, or Control through our windows and then R, it's going to reverse that clip. Um, now if you hit command or control through our windows and then option and then T, that's going to bring up time remapping. And what we're going to want to do is bring this ending keyframe very close to uh, the start of the clip. So we're going to drastically shorten the amount of time that this video has to play, which is really going to speed up the, uh, the actual animation and also the glitch. So as you can see, we start with this crazy mess of pixels and 
and different colors going on and very quickly we get to the final result here and like I said before I, I really want to stress this this is actual video glitching that's going on right we're going in with data mosh and breaking down that video to get this final result of all these crazy different colors using our one tool all right, so we come pretty far already, but let's do a little bit of housekeeping and clean this animation up a little bit, and then I'll show you another technique that'll really sell this animation. So first, let's apply an effect called Color Key onto this, uh, onto our broken clip here. Now what this is gonna do is gonna key out this white background or whatever background that you had in here so that we can apply this uh, video layer on top of any image. So let's crank up this color tolerance a little bit and then let's end this clip right at this ending Tyree Mac keyframe and let's get rid of the uh, displacement map animation on this uh, text layer below and let's move this text layer to the end of this now cut uh, broken video file and so what this is going to do is that after the mosh has happened and after all the glitching has happened, we're going to end up with a very clean looking um, text layer because it'll just be a text layer. All right, now that we got this animation cleaned up in a way so we can layer it on top of anything, let me show you guys this effect that'll really help sell this animation even more. Let's start by adding that same displacement map effect that we used previously onto this now broken video clip. Now like before, we're also going to set that displacement map layer to be noise, and we're also going to keyframe the horizontal and vertical displacement again. The difference is this time, at the end of the clip, we're going to set these displacements to both be zero. At the beginning, we're really going to crank this up, so that's going to sell this effect even more and make this jumbled mesh of glitch even more prominent. You can also crank up that vertical displacement as well. and so. Over time, uh, from the keyframes, we're gonna start with this crazy horizontal and vertical displacement, and then at the end of the clip, it's all gonna turn into this very clean looking text, and then we'll transition into an actual text layer. So now with a quick RAM preview, we can actually see what this effect is getting us. So we're getting all these crazy looking colors inside of this effect, and also all this different insane pixel movement due to the fact that we use data mosh to go in and create real video glitches, right? We went in and broke down that, that video compression file so that the ending result is all naturally made uh, video glitches that we then even enhance more by adding this displacement map on top of it. I hope that you guys learned how you can utilize actual video breaking techniques and video glitches inside of After Effects using data mosh. This is something that is perfect for not only text animation, but can be used in a variety of different ways. If you really like this tutorial, check us out on Instagram at datamosh underscore AE and share your work with us. Thanks.